So, um, you know, uh, Jason, I, your, your area of expertise is uh, reconstructive urology, and you initially talked a little bit about penile prosthetics. Um, how have they changed in the last 25 years? And what are some of the advantages uh, that men can hope to achieve by going down the road of, mm -hmm. a, of a penile implant? Because I know a lot of men are very reticent. We just had somebody send in a question literally uh, just a few minutes ago and said, I am not interested in an implant. And, and I don't know whether they're not interested because they don't know all about them mm -hmm. or whether they don't understand them or maybe they have a right to definitely yeah. not be interested. Uh, but I think that it, it warrants a conversation. How would how do you think people should get included in a conversation to move forward and, and to have sure. at least get educated? Yeah, I, I think education is the key, you know, and it's it's very often that I'll see a patient that a partner of mine sends to me, you know, after they've had prostate cancer treatment, and we talk about all the options, and maybe it's the third or fourth time I'm seeing them and nothing's working. And, you know, we talk about the penile prosthesis, and, you know, that man is still not ready to to move forward with that. And that's okay. You know, I would say, probably the majority of men I see will not pro progress to getting a penile prosthesis. Um, but my job, I think, is to provide the information so that they understand the option um, because it's, you know, it may not be in the cards for some men. They might say, hey, I'm such, a, you know, this is my life circumstances. This is where I'm at. And that, you know, sexuality was a part of my life previously um, in terms of, you know, penetrative intercourse. Other men are are still sexually active, even without full erections for penetrative intercourse in other ways. And they're satisfied in that. But with men or in men and whom are searching to kind of regain full function and, and the other options haven't worked, the penile prosthesis is excellent. Um, many men are, are surprised to find out it's been around for over 45 years now. Um, and as you said, in the past 20 to 25 years, there've been some advancements, including advanced antimicrobial coatings to really reduce infection risk to now less than 1% in implantable devices. Um, there are different size devices. There are different kinds of devices, three-piece devices, which include pumps, reservoirs filled with fluid and the ability to inflate and deflate a device. There are semi-rigid devices that don't inflate and deflate, which are better for men with maybe who don't have the hand dexterity to be able to, you know, actuate a pump in the, in the scrotum. Um, but I think it's important for men to know that option is out there because I've also seen many men who have been resistant to it initially. And then we do put an implant in and they say, man, I wish I would have done this sooner. This has really changed my life for the better. And I'm really, really satisfied with where things are at now. And I think that's pretty typical of a lot of patients is, is that they, if they had known uh, the advantages and been educated that they may have made that decision sooner and would have had a longer time to have been happy with the outcomes. And right. so I think that that's important.